How's it going guys? Vlad here and today I'm going to show you a small tutorial on Altium Designer and how to create a PCB board for uh, a particular circuit that you might have. So as an example I'm using a typical 555 timer circuit and as you can see I found, it un I found an instructable which basically gives you the layout and the schematic of the circuit. So it's a very basic circuit that you would start with. It's essentially a hello world of the electronics uh, so to speak. So without any further delay, let's get started on the first tutorial of the series. So you want to go to your Altium Designer uh, tab and you want to create a, add a new project, PCB project, and there you go. So you have no documents added at the moment and what you want to do is obviously create a schematic for your circuit. So you have this very nice blank page and before we get started just quickly save this project wherever you need to uh, so I have an Altium Designers pro uh, Altium Projects. Let's let's make a new uh, folder. So tutorials five 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 and save it right there. So in this and basically in the first tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to um, create your schematic and what you need to to know to get around Altium Designer. And we'll take a look at some of the components that we need to add. So without any further delay, let's get started by taking a look at the circuit. So we need three resistors, a capacitor, an LED, and the IC. And obviously a header to connect our 9-volt battery to the circuit. So uh, to add your first component, you basically want to press the Add uh, Place Part button. You're going to choose, and let's start with the resistors. Mm. Sorry, they are in the miscellaneous devices tab, and you go to, you go down to the resistor. Um, so as you can see, and when you select a certain part, you get your obviously your uh, schematic layout as well as the PCB footprint that it's gonna have once you have your PCB manufactured or uh, designed. So let's go with the resistor one for this particular example. So you press OK and you have your resistor ready to go. So to rotate the, the component you just you press space and as you can see Altium Designer takes care of the text layout for you. If you want to change the value before placing the component you gotta press tab and you will see this uh, this window come up and here you can change the value. So as you saw on our circuit we need one uh, 1k resistor, two, two, two 1k resistors, and one 470k resist resistors. So uh, let's add the 1k resistors. You press OK. Uh, you want one here, one here, and the last one is 470k. So you just go here and change this to 470. You press OK. And those are, are your resistors. You press cancel, and that's what you have. Um, to zoom in and out of your circuit, you can press the mouse wheel uh, down and you just go up and down with your mouse. Mm. So the second the second step, you want to add your capacitor. And as you can see, they're using a polarized capacitor in this case uh, for one microfarads. And you can find ceramic capacitors which are non-polarized for this value, but for the sake of through hole and just a simple example, we, we're not going to care about that. Uh, we're just going to use a standard polarized uh, capacitor here. So go again into place part, choose, you go back to your capacitor. Uh, so capacitor, these are the ones that we have. So cap pole stands for polarized obviously and let's go with cap pole 1 because it just, this is your radial capacitor and there you go. So obviously you want to make sure that your orientation is correct in this case put it down and let's say you forgot to change the value it's not a problem you just double you can double click here and you can always go back to this one microfarad and just press enter right there so the LED for the LED let's go ahead and add that choose you go into your LED so you have several options here uh, none of which I'm a huge fan of because I would be using a 0603 standard pack but that's not what they have here so let's just go with the LED one it seems to be some kind of a 90 degrees 
um, LED placement so let's go with that and also for the LED you want to make sure that your layout is correct um, sorry press cancel on that and you have your basic components set up so uh, let's say you want to add your IC and you cho and you you want to find basically your IC and here I have it already typed so you're looking by name and it's 555 timer press search and there's no component selected no preview available so there's no components in the standard libraries which means we're gonna have to do it ourselves and we're gonna have to make the footprint for the component as well well we we'll get that done in the second tutorial but for the sake of the finishing up just the skeleton of our circuit let's just make the small connections that we need between these few elements so these resistors are connected the capacitors connected you have a sorry you have a VCC placed on top of this branch so to change your VCC if you have different uh, voltages in your circuit you can always press tab just like we did in the other uh, with the other components and select VCC 9 for example and press OK you have a VCC 9 here uh, you got two grounds down here and finally we're gonna add the header that I spoke about earlier and this is gonna be in the miscellaneous connectors tab so you scroll down to your headers and it's we're just gonna use a standard male uh, two pin header so two pin as you can see obviously you can there's all kind all kinds of headers in this uh, designer so let's go just with the simple two pin and we'll place it up here uh, press cancel right there and we're gonna give it a ground and we're gonna give it a VCC but make sure that you name your VCCs the same as it's gonna affect your routing process so VCC 9 right there um, that's it for this part of the tutorial in the next one we're gonna actually make our uh, chip which is gonna go right here in the middle of our circuit and I'm gonna show you how to make the schematic for it as well as the PCB layout and finally we're gonna finalize a PCB board for this particular circuit so thank you for watching hopefully you learned something and uh, don't hesitate to send me uh, any questions or comments about the video or the uh, software itself thank you bye